Shannon Ayers with Citizens Defending Freedom. I'm here tonight to address the potential effects of the recent changes to Title IX that were unilaterally and unconstitutionally enacted by the Biden administration. To inform this board and, to the, and the parents of Lovejoy ISD of the latest developments regarding these changes, both in Texas and in other parts of the country, and finally to ask for unanimous action by this board that will protect the young girls entrusted to your care while in school. So what will happen if Lovejoy ISD enacts these new rules? First, it will force you to admit biological males identifying as females to girls' sporting events or face boundless civil rights lawsuits. It will force you to replace a student's biological sex with his or her gender identity when deciding which pronouns to call them, which bathroom he or she uses, or which athletic team he or she participates in. It will erode student privacy by permitting biological males to undress in otherwise sex-separated intimate facilities reserved for biological females. And it will systemically disadvantage female students in schools now forced to compete against biological males identifying as women in those sports competitions. Obviously, the effects of these changes will be devastating for our young girls and will completely negate the original intent of Title IX, which was to protect them and allow them opportunities that they didn't have before. The unlawful action of by the department denies women and girls in your school district the legal protections that the United States Congress intended to give them. Fortunately, Governor Abbott, Attorney General Paxton, and the Texas House of Representatives agree. The question is, do each of you? On April 29th of this year, Governor Abbott instructed the TEA not to comply with Title IX changes set to take effect on August 1st of this year. Also on April 29th, Attorney General Paxton filed a lawsuit against the department, as well as alleging um, violations of the Administrative Procedure Act for circumventing congressional approval and disregarding the original statutory intention of Title IX that accords with a meaning of sex that was widely understood and accepted to be binary and biological at the time Title IX was originally enacted. Finally, your local state representative, Candy Noble, has publicly denounced the sweeping changes made to Title IX without congressional approval. It's worth noting that Texas is just one of 22 states that have filed lawsuits in Louisiana. At least 17 school districts have joined the state-led lawsuit against the Department of Education. So I urge Lovejoy ISD to follow suit and take a strong stance for the state of Texas and the community you serve by passing a resolution of disapproval for the unconstitutional modification to Title IX and by joining the Texas lawsuit to protect and girls, women and girls as intended by Congress when they pass Title IX. This resolution has been provided to you by our CDF lawyer in an email today, so you already have that. Um, and I just uh, urge you to take these actions um, they would go a long way in proving to the girls in LISD that you value their safety over money. Thank you.